everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Anderson Library today. My name is Michelle Escobar and I am the Outreach Coordinator for Channel 9 KIXC here in Redding, California. I was gracious enough to accept the opportunity to come down today from Marty to be your guest reader. Today we are going to read a book about Pinkalicious. Is everybody excited? I am. Let's get ready. This story is called Pinky Promise. I was making a picture for my teacher, Mr. Pushkin. I ran out of my favorite color. Can you guys guess what her favorite color might be? Hmm. I asked my friend Allison if I could borrow her paints. Just don't use up all the pink, she asked. I won't, I said, I promise. I worked very hard on the picture. It looked so good. Anybody see what color she's using? I gave the picture to Mr. Pushkin, my teacher. What a terrific painting, he said. It's so pink. You mean it's pinkerific, I said. You think pink might be Pinkalicious's favorite color. Allison was coming over to get her paint set. Some of the colors were empty. Uh-oh, what was I gonna do? Uh-oh. Um, I'm sorry, Allison. By mistake, I used up all of the pink. Allison frowned. You also used up all the red and the white, she said. Well, red and white make pink. So it's all pink, I said. Allison was very angry. So what did we learn there? When you run out of pink, red and white make pink paint. You said you wouldn't use up all of the pink paint, said Allison. You promised. I'm really, really sorry, Allison, I said again. Allison took her paint set and walked away. Hmm. See how this turns out. Allison did not sit with me at lunch. Pink Alicia sat alone. I ate my jelly sandwich. Jelly does not taste pink and yummy if you're eating it all by yourself. Then I thought of something. I went back to the classroom. I made Allison a card to apologize. This card is very blue, I said to Allison. There were no other colors. Almost everybody is out of pink. Thanks for the card, Allison said. It's not just beautiful, it's beautiful. Allison, I asked, can we still be friends? Of course we're friends, Pinkalicious, Allison said. I'm sorry I got angry about the paint. I won't get so mad next time. I was so happy. Let's play this weekend, said Pinkalicious. When Allison came over to play, I had a surprise for her. I gave Allison a new tube of paint. It's not even my birthday, said Allison. And that's not all I asked, guess what? We shared a pink peppermint ice cream sundae with raspberry swirl syrup. The sundae had two cherries on top so we could each have our own. Some things are just too hard to share. Everybody got their own cherry. Let's always be friends, Allison said. Yes, that would be fun-tastic, said Pinkalicious. Let's make it a pink tea promise, we said at the same time. Pink tea promises last forever, I said happily. So there are the girls. They worked through their disagreement, and we're always going to have good friends in the end. I hope that everybody enjoyed the Pinkalicious book that I had to share with you today. 
Don't forget to come down to the Anderson Library and get your craft. Um, there is going to be a Pinkalicious craft as well as some paints. What can we do with those paints, boys and girls? Do you remember what we learned? Red and white make pink. Thanks so much for your time and thank you for having me here. Anderson Library, Shasta Libraries. Have a great day. Michelle Escobar, Outreach Coordinator for Channel 9. Bye-bye.